Okay, guys. Um, I told you guys I was going to be real about things. And um, I'm not a fake person. I'm a person that makes a lot of mistakes in my life. And I've learned from things. And unfortunately, I made a big mistake last night. Yes, I was, wasn't I, lover? Um, Mimi has been getting a lot of um, gnats in her fur. And um, she's getting older, so I've been having to cut out these mats on a weekly basis. Last night, I cut way too much from her. And I managed to cut a slim skinny tiny maybe less than an inch long very thin part of her skin along with her fur and um i didn't realize i did it because after i cut the mats i usually um brush her out that's our weekly grooming thing now so i had her and um, i was brushing away and she started screaming and hissing at me and i was like what the hell is going on with her and then she got up on her feet and there was a flash of of red like pinky red and i'm like oh no what has mummy done and i tried not to freak out because they're just like children so if you show them that you're fearful if you show show them that you're upset it's going to affect them Okay, so I'm warning everybody right now, if you are squeamish, please do not watch the rest of this video. Right, Mimi? I'm giving you a couple seconds. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to get her laid down so that I can show you guys what happened. It looks bigger than what you think. It's about the size of a quarter because the skin is not like our skin. It, it just, it's like an elastic, I, I guess. So I'm going to clean it up with some salt water, a little bit of salt water. And then I'm going to pat her down dry. And then <clears throat> I'm going to put on some triple antibiotic ointment on her wound. But I thought I'd let you guys know this. She's not pissed off or anything with me. She's relaxed. She's let me clean her up a, a few times today. So, um, yes, I am a person that has made a lot of mistakes in my life. And um, you can never be too careful when it comes to taking knots out of them. Um, I usually am very careful, and I don't know how this happened. So... <clears throat> so it's going to take a while for this to heal up guys, but she's okay. She's, she didn't bleed when I cut her. She wasn't hemorrhaging. So I did not feel the need to take her into emergency care. Um, so if she gets an infection, um, or whatever, I will be taking her to the vets. Um, I did start her on antibiotics though. So she's due for antibiotic tonight and she does get a bit of pain meds, but she's not um, showing any agitation um, <clears throat> when I touch her. So um, we're good. I didn't draw any blood, but yes, I did take a, a bit of skin off of her. Um, as I said, it was like very thin sliver. And then it just, when the, you cut them like that, it just opens right up. Um, for some reason, it's not like when we cut ourselves. Thank you, Mimi. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, Mimi. So, yeah, she's good. She's all right. If anything happens, guys, I will take her to the vets. But right now we're doing wound care at home and I'm fleshing it out and putting um, antibiotic ointment on her three times a day. And she's on antibiotics once a day. Take care, guys. Blessings. Bye.